let us start our sixth module sixth module is about anfis applications first application is printed character recognition printed character recognition describes a straightforward design method for a fuzzy inference system to solve pattern recognition iterated training is not mandatory for this design method the method does require some representative noise free data points from the recognition system to be modeled we revisit the exclusive or problem to demonstrate the concept behind this design method the exclusive or problem to demonstrate the concept behind the design method to solve a binary xor problem we need to classify a binary input vector to class 0 if the vector has an even number of ones otherwise it is assigned to class 1 the desired behavior of the two input xor problem is described by the following truth table this is the truth table for the xor problem if both x and y are same then it belongs to class 0 otherwise class 1 from the training data plot in for in the first figure it is obvious that the xor problem is not linearly separable and cannot be solved by a single layer perceptron to use an multi layer perceptron with a hidden layer to solve it we need to train the network so how to train the network by noting that the training data are representative and noise free it can be used as prototypes for the fuzzy logic design approach based on nearest neighbor classification or case based reasoning for a given set of prototypes the underlying rationale for classifying a new data point is simple first find the prototype nearest to the new data point and assign the point to that prototype class to do this we need a similarity measure that quantifies the meaning of near this is done in terms of membership functions for example the meaning of near 0 and near 1 we still need to know the meaning of closeness between the input data x y and one of the prototypes say 0 1 if we take x y is near 0 1 to mean that x is near 0 and y is near 1 then all we need to do is assign an appropriate operator to and the most popular for c and operators are product and min creating a fuzzy rule set for solving the xor problem is rule 1 If x is near zero and y is near zero, then output is equal to zero. Rule two: If x is near zero and y is near one, then output is equal to one. Rule three: If x is x is near one and y is near zero, then output is equal to one. Rule number four. If x is near one and y is near one, then output is equal to zero. If input data x y is close to one of the prototypes, it is then assigned to that prototype class. Okay. 
so now we can move on to a more challenging problem that is printed character recognition in pcr each of 26 letters is defined as a 7 into 5 pixel matrix the challenge is to build a fuzzy inference system that can classify a given set of 35 that is 7 into 5 pixels to one of the 26 alphabet characters these 26 prototypes are noise free and we can employ the concept referred to previously in designing a fuzzy inference system construct membership functions for each of the 35 inputs in the prototypes each pixel is either 0 or 1 so we can set up membership functions for near 0 and near 1 in the same way as in the above figure see this It is each pixel is either 0 or 1 so we can set up membership functions for near 0 and near 1 in the same way as in this figure next is set up rules each prototype represents a role so we have 26 rules each of them an and rule with 35 preconditions each rules output is not critical and we can set it to be an arbitrary constant or membership function use the fuzzy inference system so we can use the fuzzy inference system distance measure information is embedded in each rules firing strength the larger the firing strength of a rule is, the closer a given input is to the prototype of that rule. Therefore, we obtain 26 firing strengths. The alphabet corresponding to the maximal firing strength is then selected as the predicted class. To test the fuzzy inference system, we can assign various noise levels to that input pattern. The fuzzy PCR system this obtained performs comparably to a similar system using a multi-layer perceptron. Next let us see the advantages of PCR. First one it does not require any training. It is a knowledge representation and each rule in the system represents our insight to the problem we want to solve. In this approach, we did not use any optimization schemes. We can use derivative based optimization techniques if the described approach fails to classify noisy characters recognizable by humans correctly. Since the described method already gives us a roughly correct fuzzy inference system, the training time required to fine tune membership functions is likely to be much shorter than that for a multi layer perceptron starting with random weights. Next is training a fuzzy inference system for pattern recognition is not exactly the same as the and phase the fuzzy inference system are only interested in the firing strengths not the final outputs after weighted average defuzzification okay so that is all about printed character recognition thank you